All right, guys, I'm here with the age-old debate, leather versus Kydex. Which one should you choose? Well, let's start by one of the main reasons this debate even started years ago was from the holster manufacturers. You got the leather holster makers back then that hated Kydex as it came to the scene and took a big chunk of their business overnight. Then the Kydex companies don't want you to consider leather holsters because then that's not good for their business. They want to sell you their product. So you get a very biased opinion of some facts, some not facts from both sides. Here at Muddy River Tactical, we make both leather and Kydex holsters. So we can give you a zero bias opinion of both and tell you what's good about some, what's bad about some. Um, we have no reason to lie to you. We, we can sell you either one you want, but there's definite pluses and minuses to each one. Today, we're gonna to break down the advantages and disadvantages of leather versus Kydex holsters. All right, let's start this by clearing the air and saying comfort and concealed carry is a very relative term. If you have never carried inside the waistband, sticking a hunk of metal in your pants is going to be an adjustment no matter which holster you have. No different than if you've never worn a watch in your whole life and you wake up one day and you start wearing a watch, it's going to feel weird, awkward, uncomfortable until you get used to it. If comfort is your main concern and objective though, leather is always going to win over Kydex. Leather has a padding effect and it is softer against your skin and in your body. Kydex holsters, no matter the maker or style, they are rigid and hard against your skin. Now that's not saying Kydex is uncomfortable, because it's not. But in comparison to leather, leather is going to have the edge when you're looking at strictly comfort. Leather tends to be a great entry level holster as it makes the transition from no hunk of metal to hunk of metal in your pants way easier. However, most people as they progress in their concealed carry journey and start training more will transition to a Kydex holster for the other benefits that Kydex offers. All right, now this is a subject that if you ask a hundred gun guys, whether it be here at our facility or any other gun shop or anywhere, you're gonna get a hundred different answers on what the right perfect level of retention is in any holster. You'll get the guys that want the holster so tight that you gotta shake it as hard as you can upside down and it won't move. Kind of like King Kong is shaking you by your feet or something. And then you get the guys on the other end of the spectrum that if they have to barely pull on it at all to get the gun out, they think it's too tight and gonna hinder them somehow. I personally like a good middle ground. I want my firearm secure, obviously. However, I don't wanna take both hands to get it out either. Leather versus Kydex retention is two totally different types of retention. Leather holsters are designed to have retention when you're wearing the firearm. The friction of your body and your belt against the holster and the firearm give it plenty of retention where the holster will not fall out under any normal circumstances. You're not gonna bend over and your gun fall out or anything along those lines. Kydex holsters, however, have the classic click in retention. The firearm will have constant retention whether you're wearing the holster or not. When you place the firearm in the holster, you get that audible sound and you know it's secure. You can hold the holster upside down and the firearm does not come out. This just gives you a level of retention that is constant and you never have to worry about it. For some people, reholstering is a major concern and for other people, it is not. There is arguable points on both sides as far as a civilian concealed carry goes which is what we we're talking about today. Um, when it gets to the non-civilian side, it's a whole different discussion and we'll do a different video about that later. But on the civilian side of the market, there, there's arguable points both ways you go. A Kydex holster is rigid and will always stay open whether your firearm is in the holster or not. That is a huge advantage to the Kydex holsters. It allows you to quickly and easily reholster your firearm 
with one hand. Leather holsters will partially collapse depending on how tight your belt is and different factors to that when the firearm is not in the holster. You can still reholster the weapon. However, it takes a little more time and possibly help of your second hand when doing so. So when you're training and practicing your draw cycle and etc., it will take you more time and be a little more tedious. The people that are not concerned about this have the thinking process that if God forbid they ever have to draw their firearm in a life-threatening situation, reholstering super quickly will not be on the top of their priority list. There is many takes on this argument. However, if reholstering quickly and easily is priority to you and how you train, then Kydex holsters are the way you need to go without a doubt. Kydex holsters give you way more options and flexibility in what you can do with them. There's plenty of attachments like the claw attachment, different belt clips, etc that really allow you to customize that holster to you. The next thing that you get in a Kydex holster over a leather holster is adjustable retention. Adjustable retention lets you, you know, fine tune the retention to how you like it. Um, you just simply cannot get that in the leather holster. So being able to customize the holster and choose your options matter to you for your situation, then a Kydex holster is the way to go. There are a few more little things. However, those are the four main points and differences to consider when choosing leather versus Kydex. So when you go to choose your next holster, think about all these options and choose what works best for you and your training. No matter what holster you have, training and being comfortable with your setup should always be the number one priority. Thank you all for joining us today. We appreciate you all more than you know. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments section below. We are always here to help. Hope you guys have a great day and we'll see you on the next video.